Hi guys, I'm Cecilia and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Single Parents Talk Show. And guys, today I'm here at Embakasi. Kuna historia huyu chali mlikuwa mmeiona bibi yake alipas pale mama Lucy na akamwachia watoto wawili twins. So without taking much time, wacha aji introduce. Sasa, fiti fiti. Unaweza ji introduce? Okay, naitwa Robert Mondi. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So nili watch story yako mahali na nikakuwa touched sana yani like nilikuwa nilisema lazima nikutafute. Unaweza tuelezea hiyo story kulienda aje na kumefika aje mpaka sai but tuelezee vile kulianza. Okay, ilikuwa on 5th. Eh? Mm. So that ilikuwa day my wife alikuwa na due date yake ilifika ya ku give birth. So hiyo jioni tukakimbia pale kwa dio. Mm. Mm police alikuwa naenda clinic okay. so kufika pale eh, wakamu admit mm. ile <coughs> ku, akachekewa pressure mm. eh, hiyo procedure tu ya normal procedure mm. lazima go through kama umeingia usi mm. so vile walipata kumpima akapata blood pressure yake iko juu mm. so wakamwekea dawa fulani of which ilikuwa anapungua ipunguze at least ndio tuone aone kama na za za okay. so it take around 15 minutes if there was no change in blood pressure yake bado ilikuwa too high mm. so after that ndio akakuwa referred to mama Lucy mm. of which wali provide ambulance kutupeleka hadi mama Lucy mm. so kufika mama Lucy at around 10:45 uh, the process ile to normal ya admission uende pale which tulibeba na mabag zake mm. but hakukubali tungie na tumsaidie kubeba hizo luggages alikuwa amebeba hizo bags za za watoto sijui mbona so tulikuwa tu tumeambiwa tubaki at the entr- entrance mm. then yeye yeah, aingie na hizo vitu so akaingia the normal procedure admission then wakampima blood pressure ilikuwa bado iko high So from there tuka akaambiwa uh, atadungwa uh, atakuwa injected na some drugs yenye italoa at least ipungue blood pressure. Mm. So kurudi uh, ikakuwa hivyo then akakuja ka tukambiwa hiyo mm. ni at about uh, saa sita hivi tukambiwa sasa we can't be there ilikuwa sister in law wangu mm. sister yake mkubwa mm na friend mm. tukambiwa turudi home mm. Mm, until kesho asubuhi mm. kama at, 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 atakuwa sawa so tukarudi home ya yeah, kabaki huko usi okay. akienda through those medication and process okay. so vile lifika morning ilifa nirudi 6 nika nikarudi around 6:15 hapo ilipata ni niko usi So at that time imepata ana, anataka ku go through anaenda theater anapeleka theater juange hizo za normal watu wao walikuwa wakubwa mm. So nikampeleka a few staffs yenye alikuwa anahitaji hiyo morning then nikamwacha huko mm. nika wakaniambia maybe the procedure might take longer na mimi pia tulikuwa na yeye yeah, tulikuwa na agree kuna vitu zilifani malizane na kwa nyumba of which of cleaning nini nini for around 30 minutes at most ingekuwa nishamaliza so nimekimbia nikarudi kwa nyumba nikaanza kufanya hizo stuff haraka haraka yeye yeah, mjia yeah, that time ya yeah, ameenda ku 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 deliver So ili fika round sambili na nusu nikapigiwa simu that ameshajifungua ako, ako sawa ameza twins boys So hapo hapo pia nika nikatoka tu immediately nikakimbia usi mbio nikachukua pikipiki nikarudi juni nilikuwa it was a good news nime, nimesikia So kufika usi ndio nikapata asha maliziwa but ako kwa ward sasa ako na watoto wamelazwa kwa the same bed penye yako okay. na yeye pia ako hapo so akaniambia one of the kids alikuwa ashanyonya breastfeeding mm. alafu mwingine ako amenyonya so akaniambia nichukue huu mwingine anyonye pia mm. so with the help yeye yeah, pia hawezi mi pia niko peke yangu at that time najaribu kumpendua at least matiti kuwe karibu na mdomo ya mtu hii 
Ah, ikuwezekana nimejaribu. So vile niliingia nikapata hiyo drip iko imeisha dawa, alafu ina there's a backflow ya damu inatoka huko juu kwa hiyo drip ya mkono. Okay. So hapo ndo nikaita nas, nikauliza wao mapea uh, wa patients wanje kwa hapo ndani, nikawauliza nas mgani anawasaidia? Ndio akasema uh, by good luck alikuwa amepita. So mwingine akanipointia ni ule. So nikamuita na kumwambia na saibu kama ucheki hii staff I think uh, damu inarudi inarudi juu instead ya yeah? I think imeisha kuja uh, akanilenga Vile maji uke kwa maji ikifika mwisho isipotolewa huwa damu sasa inaanza kuponda Yeah, yeah that that's that's one yeah. that's what hiyo ndio kitu nilipata pale yeah. So akalenga at the same time bado pia nangangana na watu wewe pia nangangana na yeye So hiyo time pia alikuwa ameanza ku bleeding ilishaanza kuonekana kwa bed sheet kuna bleeding so nikangangana then nikaita tena nurse mara ya pili mebu kama check the ziki ito alafu kuna hii bleeding pia ime ime exceed na ana ana bleed ebu kuja mcheck akalenga mara ya pili yako kama so nikangangana so bibi yangu hapa that time alikuwa anaweza ongea tukaongea na yeye akaniambia anasikia kama na, kuna damu mombo hapo chini so ni mcheki nikachukua cotton wool nikaingiza hapo hivyo in between eh, at least damu is stop juu ilikuwa mob so nikarara tena ya pili nikaweka then nikaendelea tena na kushughulikia watu hii then at around 12:55 shemi jangu akakuja sister in law wangu ndio ilikuwa kuja visiting by saa saba aleta chakula so vile alikuja around uh, 12:55 12:56 hapo aka so dia kakata asingie moja at that time mimi niko peke yangu uko na yeye na na nani na, na watoto so uko na watoto na uko na wife yeah, niko na wife bana washughulikia so vile nasa alirudi mara ya pili ya ya tatu ndio akaniambia ni anaweza toa tu hiyo drip peke yangu wewe wewe ndio unafaa kutoa ama daktari ndio anafaa kutoa eh yeah, mimi ndio nitoa unaweza toa tu so mimi nikagadha courage nikaitoa nikafunga vizuri nika arrest mkono yake vizuri So vile sister in law alikuja kwa gate mm. akaniambia ameshindwa ame, ame hizi ingia soja amekata mm. so nikaenda nikamwambia soja hebu kindly allow aingie juu niko na watoto wawili pale newborn kuja nisawacha yeye asinisaidie juu wako uchi hata bado hajavalia wamewekwa tu baby shawl wamekaviwa kidogo but they were exposed to body yao ilikuwa inaonekana so akakata so tukatumia force kuingia pale nika mbia shemeji yangu tuingie tukae force ourself in tukaenda so at that time ame bleed ame bleed so zinaanza kuanguka chini so shemeji vile aliingia assistant law akafanza kuvalisha watoto haraka haraka so tukapiga kelele at that time at around 120 ndio sasa madaktari wakakuja wakazingira wakatutoa inches wenye tulikuwa hapo ndani mm, wakazingira hapo after kuzingira wakaanza kumhudumia watu so ni unge, unge, unge sikia sauti ya, ya bibi yangu akilia so nilienda kupip nikaana ni nini but saa ilikuwa imefungwa singeza wana within a very few minutes hivi aka wakamtoa na hiyo bed alikuwa amelalia wakamenda naye sasa hii okay acha nikukate sasa hii hawakuulizi nini inaendelea hawakwambi nini inaendelea Ah uh, wako no lose anything. Na wa, wako aware you are the husband. Yeah they were aware. Okay. Yeah. So wakaenda na yeye walisema wanaenda kwa theater tena na mrudisha huko at least. So siji hakumstitch vizuri ama shida ilikuwa ni nini? Judamu ilikuwa mobu. So though me see doctor singeza jo what was happening. Mm. So wakamchukua akaenda na yeye. So between hiyo uh, around sana na huko uh, walisema by saa mbili usiku mm. atakuwa sawa juu alikuwa ameloose a lot of blood wana muongeza damu. Mm. Mm. So sambili atakuwa amerudishwa kwa ward kwa saa. So mimi na shemeji tukaendelea tu kukuwa na watoto ile tuko na furaha. Si daktari so amekuja kumchukua. So hatuna hiyo pressure tio nini nini. Mm. So vile ilifika around 4 f- there was a call akasema there is a call from a doctor. Mm. Uh, certain doctor akasema 
robot uh, mke yako ana recover tumemongeza da, damu ya kwanza tunaweka ya pili juzi ilikuwa 3 hmm. so ya pili i think by saa 2 atakuwa sawa tukasawa ni sawa ana yani shida kama anaendelea vizuri hmm. sisi tuko sawa hmm. wacha tuko na watoto hapa juu so tulikuwa na walisha pia nan juu at that time ana rudishwa room akaniambia ni wanunulie watoto nan so hiyo hmm. ndio kitu the last more thing aliniambia nunulia watoto nan So hiyo time ameenda huko nikakimbia nikarudi area nikaenda nika kwa super nika buy none ah, na few na hizo mafida hizo bottles nikarudi so hiyo time yote tumekuwa tunapewa watoto chakula nini nini so wao wako huko wanashughulikiwa anashughulikiwa so uh, kidogo kidogo hivi there two nurses wakakuja walikuwa walitoka chini wanasema wako wametoka kwa ya watu hii huko mm. nasari mm. tuchukue watoto tuwapeleke nasari eh, juu mama yao yuko so juu tuli being tulikuwa na nano already alafu watu hii pia walikuwa healthy 3.8 3.9 tukawa na no reason za kuwapeleka juu they were very strong yeah. so tuka feed nan juu instructions za nan ziko pale una you can read so mm. tuka nini wakaniuliza maswali do you know how to feed them nini nini nikamwambia ni yeye tunajua sitaki watoto wangu waende huko na sari juu hiyo ni another expense mm. so wakani koroga koroga hapo wakani uona wakaniambia mkubwa kikuja wewe uta, utajua nikamwambia ni saa mi i'm the father me i make decisions nikisha make waendi mahali mimi niko na then wakaniacha So tukakuwa na watu hii hapo hivyo. So kufika round saa moja ndio the another call ilikuja. Kaniambia uh, my wife are you in good condition? Uh, mm, the condition is worsening. So walikuangalia referral place ya kumpeleka ICU. Eh so hapo ndio tukashtuka ICU na tumekuwa all along hapa hamjatuambia anything. Hmm. So hiyo time imekuwa nikishinda nikienda pale kuulizia vile yako juu tulikuwa sasa worried saa moja inaelekea saa mbili atuoni any feedback. Na pia ile time walimzungukia ulisikia kisha akini kama analia bado inakusumbua. Eh bado ilikuwa ananisumbua so nilikuwa na two and maybe mimi na sister in law to at least hebu ende uangalie uliza nurses what is going on huko. Mm. So ananiambia tu akosa so hiyo saa moja na nusu ndio ikafika. Akaniambia wanaangalia referral either KU ama Machakos but they need 200,000 cash money ndio kwa admitted kwa hizo two places so nikamwambia mimi saa hizi e, kusema kweli mimi sijui nitatoa hiyo doa api juu hiyo siko na expect that thing mm. hata saa hizi ni naelekea saa mbili kundi uh, familia hata sasa nikiwapigia hawana hizi pata that kaniambia tu niende nitafute niangalie mm. nikarudi kwa room nikashana na sister in law akashtuka pia yeye yeah, akasema eh hey, tutatoa api saa hii such amount So kurudi nikamwambia mimi hakuna place naweza pata hiyo do size. Yeah. But though nilianza kupiga piga some calls kwa relatives which pia nilikuwa nataka ni wameka aware what is going on. Mm. So kurudi mmoja akakuja akaniita tena akaniambia ni saa kama uh, uh, ipatika, itapatikana tuko na tumepata third option of which ni kiambu referral. Mm. At least huko tunaweza kumkimbiza uh, kwa admitted then talipo baadaye so being that nilikuwa desperate for help at that time nikakubali twende kiambu haraka haraka so hiyo yeah, sasa ni saa mbili naelekea saa tatu usiku, usiku. so kan, nika after kukubali kaniambia ni saa wacha tuongoje driver ameenda mm. Kenyatta amemkimbia emergency anarudi driver wa ambulance ambulance ya so hii yeah, ambulance tuliongoja from saa tatu uko hadi saa sita kuna ambulance okay. nikukate hii hi time yote umepoa time ya kuona bibi yako no hata hakunielao niingie huko juu ninge ah, nili request naweza ingia ni muone uh, they didn't allow me ninge all juu pia kulikuwa na bari ya pale unaona na wizi ingia alafu rules za madaktari pia majua hiyo ni OC wizi tu mm. eh, respect that so hiyo bari iko pale na request ni ingie huko hakuna mtu anakwambia uingie so singe siku si si kuingia huko ndani so hiyo saa 3 hadi saa sita tumeongoja ambulance ikuje gari ikuje na eh, nimezunguka nimezunguka naulizia nini tunaenda sangapi ngapi akoaje 
hakuna mtu anakupea constructive uh, answer na kuambia hivi na hivi so ilifika hiyo saa sita ndio uh, driver kaonekana so vile driver alikam yeye pia aliboweka jo alisema eh hey, mnaniita na hakuna amjamjipanga nini nini so tukaongoja uh, apparently nikakuja nikaitwa ati sasa nijipange tunatoka nikabeba bag hiyo bag nilibeba hapo f- kwa hiyo reception for so long hakuna kitu mnaambiwa so the, vile tulitoka nje hiyo ni saa sita hiyo ni saa sita tukatoka nje ambulance ikawa hapo nikaambiwa sasa wako ready so kutoka nje anaona bibi yangu sasa amewekwa hiyo oxygen wanangangana vile wanataka kumuingiza kwa gari wana angalia hizi ma pipes hizi nyingine iko wapi hii inaenda wapi so ilifika hadi place mimi mwenyewe nimebeba na na hiyo cylinder ya, ya, ya oxygen naingia nayo wakinifuata huko nimeingia jua kuna mtu anaweza ibeba juko wako na sisi wawili na kiboy mmoja na driver so tukangangana tukaingia ndani so kuingia ndani Uh, mi si kwa ladu kukuwa huko nyuma nikaambiwa niende nikae huko na driver so nikaka na driver wakashughulika wanajaribu kupump hizo vitu then tuka tukatoka so kutoka pia driver alisema amepitia shortcut of which shortcut mi si kuelewa ni shortcut ambulance inapitaka shortcut sijui sasa akupita barabara street alipita shortcut fulani yenye alikuwa anasema yeye yeah, ana uh, at least anapita shortcut ndio tufikie haraka okay. which shortcut ilifika ni lami ama ni rough road ilikuwa kind of lami rough road juu okay. kuna mapotholes ma bombs hizo ile moja ingekuwa street highway ingekuwa less lakini okay nikukate saa sita ya usiku ka gudo road kwenda ku connect na, na, na kiambu road hakuna mahali kuna jam hiyo ni usiku atukupita hiyo street road ndio maana nakwambia driver dere alikuwa anasema anapitia shortcut of which yeye pia hako anajua hizi ma shortcut amesema ai nimekawea kukimbia hii area anafika pale mbele anauliza hii ndio kia nje ya Kiambu oh nini oh nini una okay. vitu kama okay. hizo so i think there was just a delay everywhere kwa hizi vitu so tulipotea mara mingi but finally tuli, 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 tulifika so tulifika huko around saa saba na hii ambulance ilikuwa inaenda na ile mbio yenye huwa tunaona ambulance zingine. Hai ilikuwa na, na alarm. Hai ilikuwa na alarm ile ile ina oh. inaisha ilikuwa inakimbia tu normal. Hakuna hiyo alarm ati sasa pivwe ipite hapa. I think hata mtu mwenye anajua Marusi ku connect na Kanguda Road ufike Utaring utoke hivyo utoke hivyo Kiambuni hivyo. I think hata ni short. So ilikuwa hivyo. Mimi si kuelewa what was happening at this size bado na shindo oh. what was going on. Mm. Eh yeah, so negligence everything ilianza huku mama Lucy na sasa everything you easy is time zote tumeka hapa uh, tuambie anything. I'm not allowed to see my wife penye yako kukoro hiyo ward. Na um, washa notice hauna pesa. Yeah washa notice sina dope yeah mm. on at that time. Mm. So kufika Kiambu ilikuwa around 110 saa so, 7 na dakika kumi huko ndio sasa wakaanza ku change files wa mama Lucy na wa Kiambu they were arguments be about the pipe ya mdomo hii pipe size he should not be there mouth line pia ilifungwa vibaya i think hiyo bandage ilikuwa imeingia hadi huko ndani so walikuwa na argue about hizo vitu some such stuff kama nimesimama hapo sema ish, this this is the size of the like, oh hii nasomwa hivi hii pipe ya mdomo oh ni oh, ni sawa so wakamalizi hapo then wakai change tuka tukasaidiana sisi wote tukambeba tukamweka kwa kitanda penye alikuwa anawekwa waka connect hizo stuff zote nini nini so at that time after kumaliza after we change everything wakaniuliza kama ninarudi na wao mama Lucy nikamwambia hapana mimi sirudi juu mimi ndio niko na yeye sasa narudi aje sasa uh, then wakaniacha na twins umewacha mama Lucy na uh, sister in law uh, walikuwa mama Lucy sasa juu moja sasa mimi peke yangu ndio ilifani hakuna mm. mwingine either yeye ama ni mimi tulikuwa tunayafa kimbia na yeye mm. so yeye yeah, alibaki mama Lucy na watoto okay. yeah. so kufika huko waka wakafanya hizo zao then wale wa mama Lucy waka, wakatoka kwa kwa usi 
wakatuacha so nimesimama hapo wanashughulika wengine wameshughulika then wakaniambia sasa iko sawa wataangalia wacha mu observe 1 2 then kama naweza toka sasa then wakaniambia kuna tent hapo nje unaweza tulia so kesho utakuja around saa moja 6:45 saa moja so by 6:40 nilishakuwa kwa mlango ya ICU hapo nime nime knock akaniambia there's a nurse alikuja hapo akasema akapip hapo ni alao niingie akaniangalia kasa au oh, ushakuja akaniambia ni yeye akamwambia progress ni aje akaniambia eh hey, ame ako was but tumeita tumeita daktari fulani anamshughulikia mm. so mimi nikasema ah kama kuna daktari ameitwa that means maybe kuna progress so niongoje around uh, niongoje hapo tu nje wataniita mm. so nikachukua kiti hapo mahali nikakaa chini Uh, nika nikatulia one and a half hours zinapita sioni mtu akikuja kuniita so yeah around sa, one and a half sa, mbili huko saa tatu ikilekea then waka mmoja akakuja nika knock hakuna mtu aliniita tena nikakuja tena na for the second time nika knock you so I was so worried nimelia hapo nje nimekuwa nime worried joshua niambia wako was na which me nilikuwa na expect Maybe aniambia at least hata condition ime iko at least size ana recover recover naweza muona. Mm. So the villain niambia kwa was hapo ndani eh, nikakuwa worried hapo nje mbaya sana. So nilikuja ku knock but the next nurse alikuja akaniambia tu nizunguke back through back door. So kuzunguka through back door akanikalisha chini. Hapo ni alao niende huko kwake direct. Akaniweka hapo chini ni akaniongelesha robot eh, to uh, to receive baby yako at this time nini nini tumejaribu everything but for, unfortunately tume lose so hapo ndio nilikuwa hit ku lose eh, si kuamini hiyo juu then wakani allow tu niende ni muone so wana daktari government officials wana kwa allow one mtu mwenye amekufa but the time alikuwa uhai au kukupea chance hata one time ongea na yeye ama jeu sasa hiyo ilikuwa mama huko kiambu huko mama Lucy ndo nilikatazwa search mmoja mm. sasa sasa hizi asha pass jua liniambia me pass around 730 hiyo time yenye uliambiwa mm, wanangoja daktari yeah hiyo be in between that time i don't know what was happening hapo ndani so siji kama walita daktari ama kuita so hapo ndio akaniambia ali pass at around 730 in the morning of which ali il, kama ali pass kama niko hapo nje juni nilishakuja hapo around 640 okay. na nimeongoja hadi around 830 naelekea so akaniambia me pass nikaoliza naweza enda ni muone nikaaniambia ni sawa so nikaenda pale nikampata baada alikuwa warm juu the moment nilikuwa nalia nilikuwa nalia hadi na muende na mshika uh, nilikuwa nasikia ndiye ame alikuwa bado warm kama alipas asubuhi so hapo ndio vitu zilifika hadi hadi saa hii Okay. Mm. So okay, asa wamekwala wende one wife yako akiwa sasa amepass. Itakuwaaje sasa ndio watoto wako mama Lucy wewe uko Kiambu mm. kutaenda aje sasa. Amaje so after kushaniambia amepass so I had to make some calls. So the first person niliambia ni Shemi Jengo niliacha mama Lucy. Eh, Morina ametuacha. So at that time pia inafaa eh, nilika huko around one hour tena bado nimenalia nini siamini ameniacha na watoto wawili unaona alafu hata haja hizo vitu zote zilikuja kwa mind yangu vitu plans we had and everything okay mm. right okay nikuulize swali what was the good thing in your life kai hivi unakumbuka Morina alikuwa nayo kwa life yako mm, alikuwa na good the good things in mind do hata before pate ball ama nini tulikuwa tunafanya business yeye alikuwa anafanya kwa hoteli yake alijiandika alikuwa anafanya kwa kibanda na serve food na breakfast so then akakuja akapata hiyo ball tukakuwa which bado tulikuwa na good plans after that uh, aliniambia babe tukishamaliza hizi shughuli za watu hiyo kwa kubwa bado tutashikana na maisha yetu kwenda iendele mbele tuke together maybe you do this i do that and we get back to business alafu alikuwa dem very 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 hard working alafu akuwa na choose anything to do when it ilikuwa kitu inaleta do yeye ange angefanya jiota kibanda alikuwa anafanya ilikuwa tu ya mabati hivi lakini 
majua dem amejitolea anafanya hivyo ili ni motivate sana very hard working uh, alikuwa no nonsense lady pia in such a way angekwambia tu in through in your in, in your hair ati we kama kitu ni mbaya ni mbaya angeku face to face to face akwambie so nilimpenda juu ange correct in case maybe you are going to buy tukombe tu beba bana hii it doesn't make sense tufanye hivi na hivi so alikuwa na big dream pia maisha tulikuwa tunayo ni dream alikuwa big especially for the kids how okay. tulikuwa tunayo going to take care of them and everything so alikuwa na nice lady okay very kind hmm. Okay na nikuulize hii time yote hakuna sign alikuwa amekuonyesha like sign moja and like she's leaving unajua watu wengi wakienda kufa wanakuanga na signs hakuna kitu ulikuwa umeona Ana sisi sema kuna kitu niliona me because okay. the last thing ameniambia tu ni baye watoto na so that was the last communication we had together akitoka kipelekwa theater ya pili hapo kwa mlango juu nilikuwa close to the door Uh, so any sign at you no akunyonyesha any sign okay do you think that mama lucy hiyo hiyo kukuwa na ignorance ndio imefanywa ifia kwa kapas of course you wange sema mapema anda wange provide wange wange stop bleeding hizi mapema i think atunge kwa tu, hapa tunaongelea hizi story okay you hiyo bleeding alafu unaitana hakuna mtu anakuja there's a lot in a go, go through hakuna mtu anakuja so maja they are very reluctant yani mpaka wanakuambia wewe tu hiyo maji yeah we just sweto unaweza toa tu hiyo drip hakuna shida umeona okay. vitu kama hizo so okay. mtu akikwambia na hizo si kazi zako unaona hiyo that is very negligence of maybe daktari okay. then you call them they don't appear mm-hmm. wakuji no, no. so ilikuwa naona tu hiyo negligence ilikuwa mama Lucy ndio me lead to ha, juu hata angekimbizo huko saa by saa saba na ama saa nane hiyo yote ingefanyika but waliongoja hadi saa mbili usiku ndio wanakuja kuniambia vitu kama hizo mmoja it's so frustrating okay mm. my last two question one question how jamzika mpaka sai it's like three weeks unaweza tuelezea shida ni financial ama kumekuwa na nini naendelea how jamzika for three weeks yes true tulikuwa budget tulikuwa meandikwa around 400k mm. uh, so far tume raise around uh, 100 120,000 so bado kuna hata kuna vitu hazija come through majewa tuna uh, niweza sema tu ni because of financial hiyo na nilikuwa na bill usi ya bill iko around uh, size it's running around because uh, before apeleke mochari ilikuwa 12,000 alafu plus mochari bill amekuwa huko size ni 2 weeks uh, tunaelekea the third week until t- siku atatolewa it amount to around uh, 16 something around 18 okay 18 ukiongeza na hiyo 12 feet ko around uh, maybe 30 30 something thousand okay so which border to ji but ya lipo hmm. okay me i believe kuna kenyans kenyans i believe hii story haijafanywa mali pengine venye tumeifanya mimi na kuomba tu kama uko hapo na mbenye iko kwa comment na mbenye na iko hapo kwa screen unaweza mtumia anything 100 shillings 200 watu wenye who support watu wenye wako na shida to support Robert aende azike wife yake na pia tumsupport ndio watoto wawili wa ku raised up sasa tutaongea story ya watoto let's talk about bario kwanza tujue vile tutamsaidia hiyo namba iko hapa unaweza tuma any amount you have so robert kwa sababu tutaki kuongea sana wewe unaweza omba wa Kenya aje wakusaidie uh, maybe something ningeomba ni maybe assistance ya barrio iendelee at least ni mpumzishe vizuri arrest of which barrio ni 30th of this month september itakuwa friday next week okay. so kama naweza pata hiyo support at least ni mzike apumzike then ni baki sasa ningangane na watoto ju size naishi na watoto tuko kwa nyumba moja na uh, sister in law so maybe after that maybe any support to any kind of support will be i'll be so grateful i'll be so happy for okay. the for the kids and, and anything okay unaweza jisemea namba namba yangu ya simu 0724879026 okay mm. italeta robert italeta robert saka okay.
Ya so guys hiyo namba yenye iko 07 hiyo yenye amesema hapo ni type in itakuwa kila mahali hiyo namba inapia kila mahali guys you can support him you can support him with 100 200 guys tuone at least amepumzisha wife yake in a good way in a respectful way so guys thank you so much for your time kindly subscribe like the video share the video and leave a comment down there until next time bye bye